Hi, so if you're an Outlook user, I'm going to show you how to set up email signatures, which is going to help you if you are writing replies or creating new emails where you're consistently typing the same thing over and over again. So it's a little bit different to your normal signature, which goes at the bottom of your email and has your name, your company name, your details, links to social media, etc. This is the bulk of your email message. So the easiest way to do it is to actually create a new email and then start typing what it is that you would want um, within your template. So for this one, we will pretend that we're just doing a meeting confirmation. Um, personally, I use caps lock and big letters for the text that I need to remember to replace because that just instantly flags my eye that that's not normal. So dear name, um, I would like to confirm, obviously this is going to be your text, this is just an example, your appointment on day, date, at time, we look forward to meeting you at location then any questions to contact us and then put in your normal email signature as well so what you need to do once you've got all that and you're happy with it just copy everything so either right click and go copy or use control c on your keyboard and then up here in your toolbar, the one that says signature, click on that and click signatures. Now mine will look a little bit different because I have a few. So we just need to click new, give it a name. So this will be meeting confirmation. And then in this white box down here, um, just either right click and click paste. You'll generally want to keep the source formatting. Source formatting. Don't mind my email signature, it just does that with the way that it's set up. Otherwise, you can just go Control V on your keyboard and then click Save. Now, if we just click OK, close this message, new email. Now, when you click Signature, you will see that there is a new one here for meeting confirmation. Just click on that and the whole little template will be brought up and you just need to fill in the blanks. So that is how to create an email signature. If you need to amend it at any stage or you want to delete it, the easiest way to get into it is to just go to signature, signatures, and then do what you need to do from here. I'm no longer using Outlook, so we can actually get rid of all of these. Um, it's my normal email signature. If you need to change it, you can just jump in and make the differences or the other way to do it is to actually just insert it into a blank email, copy it and then paste it in as a new one. And that's it, that's how you do email signatures in Outlook.